Where we left you in our last video, we had just picked up our new trailer and just brought it to the campsite for the first time. Now we're kind of in the process here of getting it set up for the first time and trying to organize everything. And it's a bigger trailer than we've ever had with more features. So there's a lot of things that we aren't used to at the moment. Uh, first off, the storage bay in the front. I haven't even touched it. I'm trying to figure out where all that stuff's gonna go. Uh, the weight distribution hitch, we've never had one of those. So trying to figure out what to do with it since I took it off the truck. I've got a picnic table full of stuff over here that I'm trying to figure out what to do with. Tammy's been working inside and so she's been up here working on the uh, patio, getting the bedding onto the Happy Jack bed and trying to get all that set up. Let's see. We do have the electrical hooked up. Don't have water yet and haven't messed with the sewer. So that's all on the list of things to do. And we have managed to get some of the stuff done to the front. So we did get the lock on. Uh, got the stabilizers done, got it leveled, all that kind of stuff. So that's a plus. But like I said, right now, we've been working on this for a couple hours at least. And now it's just a matter of trying to get some more done so that we can actually relax a little bit tonight. All right, a couple hours down and <laughs> we're, we're getting there. <laughs> We still, I don't know, the inside still got a long ways to go. Uh, the storage compartment, we did make a little headway there, so that's a plus. Um, the bed of the truck was full of stuff and it's about out. My mess here on the picnic table is getting better. And currently the patio is a mixture of carpet storage and trash can. My biggest concern at the moment is trying to figure out this hitch. This thing weighs a ton, so I don't know if it's a matter of taking off the poles every time to take it apart and put it together or put it away in pieces, or whether or not try to have Tammy help me lift it somewhere. I don't know. This time I'm thinking it's going to be in pieces because I haven't figured out a good solution yet. All right, so I guess disassembly is definitely the way to go on this thing. I end up putting the main piece of it in the back of the truck, and then I've got the bars over here, and then the other piece of it is in here. So at least for now, that's gonna work. All right, so progress has been made. Um, it's been a long afternoon though, and we are both tired. However, we still have a Walmart run to make here pretty quick. So I think we're gonna head to Walmart and then get some rest. So I don't know if, and the grocery store. So gotta get all that stuff done and then get back here and get some rest. Good morning. We have been busy this morning, putting in all the little accessories that we happened to buy prior to coming up here. Um, let's see here, so far this morning I've installed the Level Mate Pro, a paper towel holder. Let's see here, I'm working on the tire minder. Just a bunch of little things that we had that we knew we were going to need that we brought along with us. So now it all needs installed. So been working on getting all that stuff done and actually have made pretty good progress this morning, I would say. Um, other than that, I don't think we ever told you where we were at. We were at the Wild Horse Casino right outside of Pendleton, Oregon. Uh, we kind of figured since this is still close to the dealer, that gives us an opportunity to spend a couple nights, try everything out with the rig, make sure everything's working all right before we head on back home. I think the plan for the rest of the day is we've got to run back to town. We've got a few odds and ends that we still need to buy. I need some screws to install the uh, tire minder. And I think we need a couple other things to buy. And then I think we're going to come back home and probably unhook the electricity to see how everything works without that. Check out the generator, make sure it's working right. And try the oven maybe. Oh yes, we need to try the oven, try the stove. We haven't tried any of that yet. We, we have, let's hear. We've taken showers. We know all that stuff works. 
fridge works fine. Most of the outlets work fine. We got TV working. What do you mean most of them work fine? Well, everything works fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hope they all work. <laughs> so, anyhow, yeah, today we got to try out everything else that we have not tried already and then get ready to head back home tomorrow. So, who knew that getting a new RV would be this much work? We have spent the last two days basically installing all the little accessories that we bought, um, testing all the systems, and now it's going to be the evening of our second day, and we're headed out tomorrow morning. But it has been fun though, but it's definitely a learning experience and been a lot of work. So far, I think I've installed the tire miner system. I've check make sure the generator is working the the air compressor the onboard air compressor we let's see Tammy did you do anything today <laughs> I installed the lock on the door took out the crazy stuff out of the cabinet thing in there there's in one in there put a bunch of stuff away I am now cooking <laughs> Yes, I, I, I kids, we've both been very busy. And then we uh, decide to do strange things such as remove one of the couches, <laughs> which is now in the back of the truck. Um, yeah, it, it's been an eventful day. So anyhow, Tammy's cooking. I think we're going to, supposed to have a Zoom call with the grandkids shortly. And then I think it's actually time to relax for a little bit. So we're enjoying our last night here in Pendleton with some Pendleton whiskey. Well, it was at this point that we filled up the memory card in the camera and did not realize it. So we won't comment at all on whether or not the whiskey had anything to do with that. But speaking of that, we do want to thank the folks down there at Thompson RV for giving us that bottle along with the trailer. We greatly appreciated that. Luckily, we were getting ready to wrap this video up anyhow, so we hope you all are enjoying this look at our trip back from Oregon. If you are, please give it a thumbs up below. Our next video will be headed into Idaho for our first boondocking experience with the trailer, so make sure if you aren't already, you subscribe down below and hit that bell icon so that you're notified when that video comes out. And we want to thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.